integrate e to the x times 1 over x plus the natural log of x solution. This is from one of the MIT um, Integration B qualifying exams. So I'm thinking we can rewrite this as follows. Maybe distribute the e to the x. So we have e to the x times 1 over x plus e to the x times the natural log of x. And now we have two terms, and it kind of looks like a product rule from calculus. Recall the product rule says if you have f times g and you take the derivative, this is equal to the derivative of the first piece, f is our first piece, times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second piece. So we just have to figure out which one is our f and which one is our g. Um, I think uh, I'll just try this. Let's just try uh, ln x times e to the x. And let's see what happens. So prime. So see the derivative of the first is 1 over x times e to the x plus the first, which is ln x, times the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x. Again, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, check, times the second piece, which is e to the x, checks plus the first piece, which is ln x, checks, times the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. So it looks like it matches what we have here. So this whole thing here is equal to ln x times e to the x prime dx. So we're anti-differentiating a derivative. So when you do that, the derivative goes away. So we just get ln x times e to the x plus c. And maybe a, a nicer way to write it would be e to the x times ln x plus capital C, which is our constant of integration. So kind of a cool problem. And I think the trick is to recognize that the integrand can be written as a product. However, you have to multiply through uh, first in order to notice uh, that. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.